In the last episode on personalization, we saw that data is stored in your CRM or your campaign's backend. But did you know that you can also store data in your URL that you can use for personalization? Let's explore how. Every page has a URL or web address. For example, campaign.raisley.com. But a neat feature is that you can store hidden data in that URL through what is called a query string. Now, a query string is simple. It's a query as it asks for values, and it's a string as you can make it as long as you want. See, a query string starts with a question mark, telling the URL that the string has begun. And after the question mark are queries, each separated by an ampersand. A query contains two elements. First, the key, and then the value. The key is the reference point, like a field ID in Raisley, whereas the value can be a static or even a dynamic value. Pulling it all together then, here is an example of a query string. As you can see, the question starts the string, which contains three queries. The keys are first name, company, and role, and the values are static values I've given to each. I have now stored data in the URL in which I can now use for dynamic content on my campaign pages. Now, in the Raisley page builder, I can enter a simple merge field from any page that will pull in this data stored in the URL query string. Using the example we just had before, I can just enter the following. Now, let me go into this page's URL with that added query string I've just used before. As you can see, the query merge fields have looked to the URL for data and pulled it in based on the key's value. Query strings are often used within links from other marketing sources to your website. Classic examples of this would be a link from your social media posts or the call to action link in your email, for example. Another example may be a new campaign you're launching and on all your posters and your ads, you have a unique QR, uh, QR code that links people to your page. For the QR code link though, you could have a query string that captures the data of the location of that poster to help you track which location was most successful. Or if the social ad you posted had a targeted audience, you can change the copy seen on the web page just for those who clicked on the post link. Pretty cool, right? You can even use data from your email marketing CRM to pre-fill your donation form, enabling smoother and faster experience. Just enter the merge query into the custom field's default value for that field to pull data from the URL. Now, one cool feature is the ability to add dynamic values into the query string when, say, using them with your CRM and messages. Say, for instance, you are sending an email via Raisley's messages that advertises your new campaign. In the call to action button that links them to the homepage, you can add a merge field in that key's value. For example, to bring across all the first names, your link can simply be Adding in this merge field enables your value to be dynamic, where every email sent will look to the first name of the recipient and insert that as the first name's value. You can do this with other email marketing CRMs, but be aware that not all of them have the same parameters. They'll likely have a different way of formatting the merge field. Just check out their support documentation on the merge field format to use. Now, I hope you'll be using query strings as a normal practice when creating your links. And check out the support doc links in the description for more ideas. I'll be back with more on personalization shortly. But if you've enjoyed this one, don't forget to like and subscribe. And be sure to leave me a comment in the chat if you have any questions or even better, any creative uses you have for query strings. I would love to know. Well, enjoy creating in Raisley and don't forget to stay ambitious.